good morning everybody welcome to my channel today is september the 6th 2018 if you're in the washington dc baltimore city baltimore county area surrounding areas pastor jamal bryan from empowerment temple is hosting a protest it's going to be held at lafayette square it's going to be a peaceful one we're not trying to go to jail so don't be on no goofy stuff all right i'm just letting you know if you don't know how to get to washington dc at lafayette square all you gotta do is catch the march train get off at union station it's not that far from the capitol so please please pretty please don't go down there and show your tail because you will get locked up i promise you this come is this coming from me i'm just i'm just telling you it's gonna be a it's gonna be a peaceful thing we try to be peaceful we ain't trying we ain't trying to go to jail and you know Bad enough, Trump don't care about us. We ain't trying to go to jail. I ain't going to jail for y'all. I don't want to go to jail. But nevertheless, how y'all doing today? Today, I will be talking about the Bobby Brown movie part two. I will give my review on it. And this is my review about the situation, the whole movie itself. I like part two better because I wanted to get to the climax of the situation. I did not like the movie because they made Whitney feel like she, you know what I'm saying, that she really was a bad person. She did have a drug problem. I will say that she really did have a drug problem. Whitney Houston did not die from drugs. She had a heart condition. And they just, and they found that out when they did a, a, her autopsy that she had heart problems. So the reason why she died, because it was a heart ailment. You feel what I'm saying? Now, the drugs and the alcohol contribute to that. You feel what I'm saying? But it was a heart situation. She died of heart problems. So let's get that clear. I did not also like the part how Alicia was introduced to Bobby. Again, I did not like it. I mean, she got reintroduced, whatever, but we wanted to know more about Alicia. You know, I didn't know she was messing with Teddy Riley. I didn't, we didn't know that, you feel me? You should, that should have been introduced, whatever. It's not causing a scandal, or whatever, like that. But we were trying, you, you causing a scandal with everything else. We trying to, I'm trying to understand the story. Um, what else? The story was, it was kind of, I mean, it came to a, a brief, sad situation. I mean, number one, Bobby Mama died. Number two, Bobby Father died. Number three, Whitney died. And Bobby Chris died. I feel as though this, I think the movie itself was rushed in. Maybe it should have been a three-part series so we can, you know, know more about Bobby Brown. You know, and I mean, to me, I will give, to me, I will give the movie a B-. minus, Just for the second fact, and the reason why I'm giving the B- minus because the simple fact was this. Um, the musicality of the situation. Um, the person who played Whitney Houston did an outstanding job as far as acting, but I think that they should have, you know, really took the time to, you know, really study Whitney. Maybe talk to some family members or something, whatever, because Whitney really wasn't a bad person. Whitney was really a quiet person, to be honest with you. She was goofy, whatever, but she didn't like all that, all that attention around her, knowing that she had a problem. The musicality of Whitney Houston, I did not like. I don't understand why in the world they use an auto tune to to um to do Whitney Houston. If you want to capture Whitney, you should focus on the essence of Whitney and her study her voice and study her study just study everything about Whitney. I mean he I mean then she took the same time. When um, Woody the Great, shout out to Woody the Great. He did his thing. I'm so proud of him. He did his thing with the with the movie, but they took their time to study the mannerisms of Bobby Brown. I think they should have took the time to study the mannerisms, the mannerisms of Whitney and her voice vocality and everything. You know, to me it was auditory and it was fake, and I did not like it at all. That made me mad. About it. that's why I give it a B minus because of that. Um, what else? What else I didn't like about the movie? What, what, what I like about the movie? Characters. I like Bobby's brother. And I like Bobby's mom. And I like Alicia. I really do, because Alicia was like no nonsense. 
And I think Whitney is no nonsense too, but she had a problem. You know what I'm saying? She really had a drug problem. She really did. But I like the Leisha because she was no nonsense. She didn't play with Bobby. She was here's here it is. She's a sister who got herself together. And she wasn't following she wasn't putting up with no crap. And that's what I want women, African American women, women especially, to stop settling. Here it is, Alicia did not settle. She told Bobby, you're going to stop doing these drugs, or I'm going to leave you. You're going to change your attitude, or I'm going to leave you. I'm not dealing with that. I respect her because she took on a role. And I love what Tommy said, because Tommy was like, look, you need to know what you're getting yourself into. You know, Bobby had a drug problem. Bobby had some issues that he needed to work out. I didn't like the fact that Bobby did not tell Tommy that he chose Alicia to be his manager. I did not like that part. And Bobby always had a problem, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I see with a lot of African American men. They always brush their brush they problems onto the next person. And I don't like that at all. You shouldn't do that. That that to me is that's the most difficult. I see a lot I see a lot of black men do that. Well, she gonna handle my problem or he gonna handle my problem. No, you gotta deal with the problem. I like Delisha because she gonna have, she love she love um Bobby, but she wasn't putting up with Bobby's mess. None whatsoever. And you know, I didn't you know, they made Whitney betray Whitney didn't care the fact that, you know what I'm saying, Bobby and Alicia move on. I think she gonna always love she always loved Bobby and Bobby love I mean Bobby love um Whitney. Whitney didn't care about that. You know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, Bobby really did a lot of messed up he did a lot of hurtful stuff to women too. And to Whitney too, because Whitney was in love with um Bobby. Let's be clear. But I also think Whitney got some other stuff going on too. That Robin character, whatever, just threw me off. And Bobby wasn't happy about that one bit. I'm glad that he put her in check. So you know, say you got to get out of my house, eating up my eating up my food and stuff. Nah, you got to go, sis. Drug abuse is a real serious problem within the African American families. And I saw yesterday clearly the indication that we really need to, you know what I'm saying, really need to step foot and change the situation within our families. Bobby Brown been around death all his life. He lost his grandmother. He lost his homeboy that same day. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, lost his other homeboy a few, few years later, you know, when he was famous. It's a crazy situation. So Bobby went through a lot and losing his child. I can't imagine losing this child. You know what I'm saying? A man, a person losing a child. It's a horrible experience, man. I don't wish that upon nobody. Oh my God. I remember that um, a friend of mine, like a big auntie, you know, um, her son passed away. Um, he went to college. He you, you know, doing his thing, you know, God fair family, and they took his life. And when I saw her, she just like, she just, it made me sad. It just make me, it just, just makes me sad. It really do, I see a lot going on for our communities. People losing their children, losing their lives. Children diagnosed with cancer and all that stuff. All types of stuff going on. Parents are not don't not stepping up to the plate. Parents have mental illness. Mental mental abuse is a very serious matter to me. Very serious, and we really need to talk about it. I mean, hell, I went through some stuff in my life too, and the only reason why I'm still hanging on is only by the grace of God. You know what I'm saying? Only by the grace of God. It could be worse, and I thank God every single day. I, it's it's so important to have a relationship with God. It's so 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 important to have a relationship with Him. Cause I pray constantly. I pray day and night. And you know the thing about it is, it's like Satan ain't gonna mess with you in the morning time, but he gonna mess with you at night. I don't know why he does that, but he mess with you at night. So you gotta pray over your children. You gotta pray over yourself every single day. And you got to be mindful what you watch on TV and what you do and stuff. But as far as this Bobby Brown situation, I see why Bobby Brown talked about these issues, whatever. 
and I'm so glad that he's sober. I didn't know that Bobby, I mean, through his drug abuse, it caused him to have a stroke. That's a crazy situation. So I'm definitely going to keep Mr. Brown in prayer. I'm proud that he did his story and he told his truth because they had, they had yo making him feel like he's the bad guy. And he's the bad guy to a lot of stuff, whatever. I think that if he would have made better decisions, I think his daughter would be alive. If he would have stood, gotten that boy's tail, I'm not going to cuss on YouTube. If he would have gotten Nick's tail, really, really gotten his tail, his daughter would be alive. Ain't no, I'm staying with a man. Nah, if he, I mean, and like he said in the movie, he was like, man, I don't understand. Nick was there when Whitney died, and Nick is dead when Bobby Chris died. And I think he had something to do with Bobby Chris murder. I don't care what anybody said. He had something to do with that girl murder, man. And he need to speak up for that, whatever. If he really loved Chris, he would do that. That's my honest copy. I don't care. Like I said, this is my page. I'm going to say what I want to say on my page. I don't care. I think that's a very serious situation, man. And, you know, Bob made a lot of mistakes in his life, and he's trying to get his life right. So I'm proud of him. I'm really proud of the fact his son going to be a little star. I'm trying to tell you. He's going to be a little star. We're going we gonna to see. He's going to be a star. But... I get the movie a B minus. That's my opinion. I give it a B minus, only because of the music, the musicality, and I'm real, a real stickler when it comes to music, as I sing. So, I'm a real stickler when it comes to music. I love music. I eat, sleep, drink music. So, that's why I'm saying what I'm saying out my mouth. But it's a good movie, though. I wish it would have more stuff to it. I really did. I think it was Rush. That's my honest part. I like guess deal with BT had a deadline. And it shouldn't be BT have a deadline. It should be a good movie. Enough with that. What else am I going to talk about? To, I really think as far as the Flint crisis. It's a dead gone shame they turned the water off in Flint, Michigan. It's a dead gone shame that people have to move to other parts of the Michigan area because they don't have any water and to my surprise the issue is trickling down to the Detroit area and that don't make no daggone sense it really don't I urge all politicians all um, parties who's in the um, who, who Democratic or Republican or other to stay on their tail about that that's a very serious matter I heard a lot of children are getting sick because of the water situation. That don't make no sense to me. I think we should do something about it. Instead of fo focusing on the president who did not give a dad going about us, we need to be going out to cities like Detroit, cities like Flint, and give water. And I think we should, hell, I'm going to give some water. If I don't, I don't have it like that, but, you know, I would like to participate in helping people get water because children are dying because of this elderly people are dying because lack of water and phlegm that's a very serious situation to me very serious situation. i can give care about president trump and how many scandals he got hell he brought it on himself i'm not upset he did that to himself he really did <laughs> when you do dirt and we and speaking of doing dirt there was a situation with a guy he the teacher she lived in Anne county she got killed because her baby father didn't want a child. He killed the baby mama and killed her. Baby mama and the child. So I was um, reading the Baltimore um, Sun today, and to my surprise, he, he was found j j dead in jail because today he had a case regarding that situation. To me, y'all committed suicide. He did that to himself. My prayers and my condolences goes out to his family, and that's all I have to say about that and her family but my first goes out to his family whatever but that man's life and that man's expectancy um i'm saying no comment about that y'all know how i feel about the situation he's a coward moving along what else i want to talk about today got something else to talk about baltimore city and baltimore county has over 60 schools are closing due to the heat that is crazy to me. So you mean to tell me, my ninja, you what, what you what was you doing that whole summer? 
And yeah, and the thing about it, they knew they had this problem within the summertime and before school close, with the schools closed. You mean to tell me, my ninja, you have 60 schools closed in Baltimore, in, in the county alone? That is crazy. That is a problem. As a parent, that is a problem to me. My daughter, she ain't, she ain't here start, so I'm thanking God. But that's a problem to me. I really, you know what I'm saying? I'm, it's, a, it's a really serious problem that schools are closing like that. Let's be honest. Y'all don't have that money. Y'all don't have any money like that. And you really want to close the schools down. Let's be perfectly honest. And then on top of that, they really, a lot of people from Baltimore City and Baltimore County combined are losing jobs as we speak. Nobody want to sit down and talk about that. No, we want to just, just want to sweep it under the rug. It don't make no sense. I urge parents, I urge teachers, I urge professors to make a stand. Because if you don't make a stand, you'll fall for anything. And the blood's going to be on your hands regarding these children. They need a proper education. And that I blame Trump for that because the simple fact is, he, it's, like you, it's like we want to be it was back to slavery again. It really is. But it's up to the parents to turn off the YouTube to educate your children. Because in a couple of years, it's going to be a situation where no school is going to be open at all. And it's up to the parents to educate our, educate your babies. I educate my baby every single day. Do activities with her. She don't got to be on the phone. She don't got to be watching YouTube and stuff like that. She watch YouTube a lot. But nevertheless... I take my time and I read to my child and I do different activities for her. You know, I'm going to do some more. I'm going to make up some more activities and stuff because my mom, she's an educator and she is, she is doing a lot of um, values to me about making up things to create things and create activities for my child. And that's what I do every single day. Like last night, I taught my child how to make some curry chicken. Um, tonight, I'm going to teach her how to bake a cake different activities for her that she will have that she will treasure we got to do that with our children we got to use our imagination turn off the tv stop watching the love and the hip-hop stuff you know just spend time with your child because that's very important those are the years that you mean and my daughter's three so these next few years are very critical so i want to make sure that she have a great experience so you know do activity books Take her to the park, do all types of crazy stuff. I like I like to do crazy stuff. I'm a child. I'm a child myself. I think next year I'm um take her to um Sesame Street in New Jersey. I don't know the name of the park, but Sesame. I don't know the name of it, but I want to do something different with my child. I like going to I like going to the zoo. I like going to Smithsonian. I think I'm gonna take her there in a couple of weeks. Different activities with your child. It's very important. We got to do it. Um, my child's a very smart little girl. She not a, write her name. She not spell her name. She's a very remarkable young girl. And she has a she has a poppy and a bubbly personality about her. She will say what's on her mind. She shares. She won't share her ice cream. She wants to share her phone, but she shares. She has a good heart, and I love that about my child. But it's very important that we educate our children. Because, you know, these, some of these teachers are not going to do it. And they're going pretty soon they're going to shut down a lot of resources when it comes to education. From what I'm hearing, in, a, in, in this year's Maryland State Ballot, they're going to have a incentive. And it's going to be a incentive for um, the schools as far as the casino, casino putting more money into the school. And I think that's a good idea because, shucks, y'all spending money on dumb stuff. Yeah, y'all need to put it towards education, for real. We need jobs. Yes, we do. But we also want our children to be smart and be educated. Um, I like the incentive that um, Mayor Hogan is doing for the people that want to go back to school. I think that's a great because education is everything. So we can So we can create more jobs. That's important and more educational values. We need that. We already know that Donald Trump do not care about us. I'm going to tell y'all again. This devil is not your friend. Donald Trump is not my friend at all. I can't wait till they fire his butt. I can't wait. And I can go back to sleep. 
next week I will be doing a anniversary of September 11th um, I will talk about my September 11th experience and what it means to me and I hope everybody have a wonderful day and that's gonna be next Tuesday and I'm also going to do a video on Monday of black girls rock if you don't know black girls rock will be on Sunday at 8 o'clock on BET networks if you got BET.com BET her BET the channel period uh, Fantasia Lattice Stephanie Mills Jan Jasmine Sutherland is going to be and others is going to be doing the tribute to the one and only Miss Aretha Franklin may her soul rest in peace that's all I gotta say about that may her soul rest in peace everybody is you know what I'm saying hurt and sad of the tragic death of um, Rita Franklin um, it's not a tragic moment it's, it's tragic but everybody you know what I'm saying we miss her and we love her I still didn't like the the fact how they handled her though I did not like that at all I really really did not like that so, I would definitely keep the um, Franklin family in prayers. Definitely. Um, but the black, um, um, the show on Sunday, please watch it. Um, Jenna Jackson is going to be honored. Um, Mary J. Blige is going to be honored. Um, Miss Judith Jemison, she is a well-known choreographer. She worked with Alan Avey. She's going to be out. She's going to be honored this week as well it's going to be a beautiful a beautiful occasion so if you have BET please watch it um I am out I'm about to go fry me some potatoes and go to the gym I hope everybody have a wonderful day and I hope everybody be blessed and if you're on my page please subscribe have a nice day